Hi guys, welcome to a new video. It's time! <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <sighs> welcome you guys to a new video. Merry Christmas, you guys. I can't believe it's freaking December and the year is literally over. Like, psh, my mind is still trying to process that. But as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about the retinol ban. Ban. And I do that because it's retinol really banned. What am I talking about? What is happening? If you guys want to hear all about the retinol ban and what is really happening with this ban and just more information about what products that you're currently using that you should probably stuck up on before it's banned, then you definitely want to keep watching. If all that sounds really good to you, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, spoiler alert, retinol is not banned. It is restricted in all 27 countries of the European Union. Now it doesn't include UK and Switzerland because those are obviously not part of the European Union. So if you're an American, woo, we're safe, okay? We're safe. This ban does not apply to us at all. It is only for people who are in the European Union. I literally was freaking out about this ban. So happy that it's not something that we Americans have to be worried about. I'm sure you guys are all aware of all the amazing benefits of retinol, starting from the nutritional aspect of it, where retinol is amazing for reproduction, vision, even like the immune system. If you come over to the skincare side, it's been known for its anti-aging benefits, heavy pigmentation, brightening effects, cell turnover. I mean, retinol is like the GOAT of skincare ingredients. So if retinol were to be banned, it would be a bit of a problem. Y'all saw how we took it lightly when hydroquinone was banned from over the counters. If that happens to retinol, people would literally freak because people swear by retinol, literally. So this whole change has been going on for a while. European Union Scientific Committee of Consumer Safety notified the World Trade Organization because retinol just kind of started flooding the market really, really fast between like 2008 to like 2000. 13, 14, and they started to put their documentation about this between 2016 and 2022, I believe. And finally, last year, they came out with what the ban or what the restriction, if you will, will entail when it comes to right now in the European Union. Because you guys know with skincare, everything is so complex. Everybody reacts to skincare very differently. Basically, the logic behind that is that there could be potential toxicity or adverse effects where someone might be consuming way too much retinol in their diet probably taking supplements that do contain vitamin A, which is pretty much retinol, and then also adding on skincare. So if it's not monitored, it could lead to very toxic, unsafe levels. So that was the whole logic behind it. Most people obviously will not experience this, but there are a subset of people that might have this situation where they could be hyper reactive to or oversensitized to retinol. So in June 2023, it was notified that they have come to the terms of what retinol will look like, especially with over-the-counter skincare in the European Union moving forward. And what they come up to is for face and hand products, retinol cannot go past 0.3%. For body products, retinol cannot go past 0.05%. And that applies to not just retinol, it also applies to retinol palmitate, retinol acetate. It doesn't apply to retinaldehyde for whatever reason, which is actually metabolically closer to retinoic acid, which is the prescription form. And it also doesn't apply to adapalene. So it's really interesting how they went about this numbers. So this change will be implemented by the end of this year, which we're already in December of 2023. So pretty much by the end of this year, the change will be fully implemented. And and it will be fully adopted by June 2024 with an 18 to 36 month transitional period. So basically by 2027, every retinol above this 0.3% mark and 0.05% for the body literally will be out the door. So if you're wondering, do I need to stuck up right now? Do I need to get rid of all my retinol products? No, you don't have to. You still have, like I said, about 18 to 36 months, but I believe you can still order the products from the countries that do have these products at this higher percentage. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can still order it from a different country if your country in the EU obviously doesn't have it by 2026. Now I'm sure you guys are wondering what retinol products have 0.3% or more currently that are in the market and are popular. You'd be surprised. A lot of our favorites are on there, but not to worry. Like I said, you do have some time. Polish Choice 1% retinol treatment, 1%. It's already way too high. That's going to be banned. The Ordinary 1% retinol in Squalane, SkinCeuticals retinol 0.5%, and Drunk Elephant retinol cream. These are all going to be banned by the end of 2027. Now, not to worry. There are also some popular products that you guys I'm sure still really love and love to use. And and here are some that will remain in the market. The Cheese Lift Active Retinol Serum with 0.2% retinol. The infamous CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum, which literally hits the mark of 0.3% retinol. They locked out on that one. SkinCeuticals Retinol 0.3% and L'Oreal Revitalift 0.3% Retinol Serum. Now, if I mentioned some of the products that will be banned and you love them, like I said, you do have some time, but definitely start looking into other ways to supplement this retinol because like I said, by 2027, it's gonna be kicked out the door 
either looking to getting a retinaldehyde serum, which I actually personally love. I love the one from Mura, their retinaldehyde serum. Naturum has a really good one too. So these are just some of the brands I know have retinaldehyde in them. And like I said earlier, it's actually metabolically closer to the actual retinoic acid, which our skin has receptors for. So it doesn't have to convert too much and face the probability of actually being broken down before it actually converts. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the gist. That's the band. That's what's happening. That's the tea on retinol lately. I hope I literally didn't make anyone cry in this video because it's, it's sad. Honestly, I'm low-key sad about this, but it is what it is. And I don't know, it's so interesting why this change is happening now and if it's also because there's such a huge influx of skincare. I think it's just really about consumer safety and um, I get it, I get it, but at the same time, I'm like, why now? But I get it, if that makes sense. The girls that get it, get it. But yeah, if you like this video and found it valuable, make sure to like the video, subscribe, let me know what you think about this restriction slash ban. Are you feeling it? Do you feel like it's unnecessary? How are you guys feeling about this? I wanna know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe and join the family and you see me again on your screen very soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.